Hi, I'm Pam Fox at pamfox.org, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing my weight loss and healing journey from GERD and hiatal hernia. I know that when I first started my own road to recovery, I really appreciated inspirational videos of just other people's stories and their road to recovery, their before and after pictures. Um, so in these pictures, I was coming up on about 200 pounds, just about 200 pounds, and I was really not in good health. Um, I had the, the, the GERD and the hiatal hernia, and that's what really kind of pushed me to look into plant-based nutrition, but it took me about a year to really take the leap of faith and try it because I just didn't think I could do it. I didn't. I thought I would last for 20 seconds on such an extreme diet, but the truth is, Plant-based eating is really the most natural and enjoyable way to eat, and I've been doing it for over four years now, and I really enjoy it. So yeah, I had a long list of health conditions. I had chronic allergies and asthma, I had chronic fatigue, I had depression, rheumatoid arthritis, really a long list. So, um, but it was the GERD and the, the symptoms of the hiatal hernia that really kind of pushed me over the edge. So here, I just take a lot of pictures of my food. So I'm here, I'm just ordering, looks like a, a vegan chicken sandwich at Heathen Brewing restaurant that we like. This was a trip Dwayne and I took to Chicago about just a few months after I became vegan. And I brought my blender, I brought all my food, and I really just stuck to the diet during that trip. And it really, really wasn't that hard. And it was actually a lot of fun. And I really started to notice my energy levels um, just soaring. Uh, because I was getting good proper nutrition. This is just a vegan pizza, no cheese, no meat, all my favorite vegetables. This is something we eat on a regular basis. Dwayne and I like to get away and just do little weekend trips. This was a trip to Portland to the Japanese gardens and again I just remember being able to keep up with him and my feet didn't hurt and I had plenty of energy and this was a first for me to be able to just go and go and go and not feel so exhausted. Um, here's a burrito bowl with rice and beans and avocado and herbs and chips and greens. Um, it's just a picture of me and my nephew, little Jonah. He's not so little anymore. Um, and, but you can really start to see I'm starting to lose weight on the plant-based diet. Um, and on the plant-based diet, my symptoms from GERD really did begin to, they got a lot better. The, the heartburn pretty much went away, uh, but I still had chronic belching and I had... Um, nausea pretty much all the time. This is Halloween and I remember this night we had a lot of fun. We actually stayed up late that night. Well late for me. Normally I, I want to get home early. I want to get to bed. My feet hurt. I'm tired. Um, and this is somebody gave us tickets to a Mariners game and we spent the day in Seattle and that was a lot of fun too. This next picture is a staple in my diet. Potatoes. These are just baked potato fries with some herbs. Um, and here we are again at a restaurant, looks like a garden burger and a salad. I love this picture because I really look like my mom when she was young in this picture and I just look happy and healthy and awake. <laughs> and here I am with green juice, lots of green juice, lots of smoothies. I look pretty excited in that picture. And this was a, a Halloween party. That's me dressed as Princess Leia and my good dear friend Maggie. And Dwayne and I go to the Holiday Ale Festival every year. This was a couple of years back, but um, I remember that like some years I would literally go for maybe an hour and then go sleep in the car the rest of the day. We actually just went to this a couple of days ago and I lasted all day, no problem. My feet didn't hurt. It was, it was a lot of fun. This is banana ice cream and it's just frozen bananas in water or non-dairy milk in a high-powered blender. Here it is with chocolate sauce or hot fudge, which is cacao and dates and vanilla, I think. Um, that's at a, a work party, I think it's Oktoberfest. I'm looking pretty, pretty jazz there. And this next one is actually one of my the best meals I've ever had. Dwayne made this and it was farro and uh, roasted beets and microgreens and orange zest and some fennel and it was so delicious really really good here we are on another weekend trip this was at snoqualmie falls and i remember this day because it was cold and damp and normally i would just be like nope too cold i'm gonna wait in the car <laughs> but i did just fine here i am with the short hair and oh in 2017 i decided i wanted to run 
uh, 12 5Ks in a year. This is one my sister came out and ran with me. And I'm not a runner, and I never have been a runner. I did a little bit of running in college because everyone was doing it, but um, it was because of the nutrition that gave me, you know, the desire to be more athletic and to have a higher level of fitness. This picture was taken at Pacific City at the Pelican Restaurant. Um, it sits right on the beach facing this haystack rock. I highly recommend you try it out, and they do have vegan options. Here I am drinking more juice. This is a vegan chili dog with baked potato fries. Here I am at another 5K. This one was actually with my sister again and her daughter at her school's um, 5K color dash fundraiser. That was a lot of fun. And then in my final four 5Ks, I actually placed sixth, fifth, fourth, and then third. So it was kind of cool to see myself actually improving and getting faster and faster each month. This is just a stir fry with veggies and beans and herbs and looks like some tofu. I don't know if that was homemade or if that was at a restaurant. I think it might have been at a restaurant. This is a picture. Kajabi is the platform that hosts my website where I sell my online course, Reversing Hiatal Hernia Naturally. And I was so proud to get this t-shirt. They have um, milestones. When you make $1,000, you get the t-shirt. When you make $10,000, I think you get a hat. When you make $100,000, you get like a jacket or something. So I was really excited to get that t-shirt. This was my final 5K in my hometown where I came in third place and I cried and I cried and I cried because I couldn't believe that I came in third place in my category, of course, but um, I was pretty stoked about that. And then my daughter and I, uh, we did go to California this summer to visit my son, and we did tons of sightseeing. We walked all over the place, and my daughter is vegan too. So it's just great to be able to go and to have energy and to not be held back. And there's my son and his little beagle, Bixby. Um, so this is just an example of a wrap. I ate lots of wraps. There's my one of my favorite foods, which is just a plain banana and water smoothie. Here I am making a smoothie with bananas and berries and greens. And Ellie and I took a trip to Friday Harbor this summer. So here we are on the ferry and we actually had lunch at an all vegan restaurant on Friday Harbor and it was lo like the best, the best food I've ever had. It was so good. Dwayne used to make these all the time. He would marinate a portobello mushroom in balsamic vinegar and serve it on a really good, like a pretzel bun or ciabatta roll with lettuce, tomato, and avocado. And those are just roasted carrots on the side. And these are just, I don't know, tacos, burritos, rice, beans, greens, salsa, avocado. A couple of summers ago, we went to the Oregon Fermentation Festival. We got to make these pickles and I learned a lot about the gut microbiome, fermented foods. That was a really great experience. I would love to go back to it. You can order vegan sushi at most vegan restaurants. They put things like pickled carrots and asparagus and cucumber and avocado, and they are delicious. This again is at Heathen Brewing. They have great vegan options. This was like grains and sauteed vegetables and seeds. Dwayne and I actually did some climbing this uh, summer. We went um, rock or uh, uh, rope uh, zip lining and um, ropes course. That was a lot of fun. I just threw this picture in here. This is a picture of my family at a family reunion, but this took place about a year after I became vegan. And it was on this trip that I was doing some research um, on hiatal hernia where I made a huge breakthrough and um, was able to really start progressively reversing my hiatal hernia quite quickly after the breakthrough through that I made on this trip. So that's it guys. Um, this is just a great quote by Mary Oliver. What is it you plan to do with this one wild and precious life? And I just would encourage you to ask yourself that question and remember that you are the star of your own life's movie. You're the director, you're the casting director, and you're the star. You're the star of your own life's movie, which means you get to make a lot of the major choices. Yes, things do happen in our lives that we have no control over, but we always have choices in how we respond to those things. And so I just want to encourage you, if you've thought about plant-based nutrition, to really, you know, invest in your health. Do a 30-day challenge and really commit to it wholeheartedly. Don't just do it halfway. Don't just cut out dairy or cut out red meat. Do a whole foods plant diet for 30 days, especially if you're sick, and see what it can do for you. It may not transform your life the way it did mine or the way it has others, but I would bet money that it will improve your condition. 
It will improve your health. But there's only one way to find out and that is to try. So I would encourage you to really um, look into plant-based nutrition and like I said, just invest in your health. Invest in your health. All right, guys, if you want to find out more about me, you can always follow me um, on YouTube uh, at Wonder Vegan. I'm also on Facebook and I have a website, pamfox.org, where you can learn all about um, me and my online course, Reversing Hiatal Hernia Naturally. Thanks for watching.